everybody and welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Today I'm gonna show you my secret of a wonderful concoction to grow your hair. What? Yes, this is amazing. So as you guys know, you know that I love aloe vera. Aloe vera, it's amazing for everything. We have like three videos already of different uses that you can do with aloe vera and the benefits of aloe vera, so you can go ahead and check that out. But today we're gonna be using one of the leaves for aloe vera, the complete leaf for our hair. So this concoction is for having a, a maximum, amazing, exponential hair growth and having a really wonderful, thick hair growth, right? So you guys know that I cut my hair this year. So you're gonna see how is it by the end of the year, how much my hair has grown with all the wonderful things that I do for my hair. Everything natural, everything homemade, everything from here, right? So we're gonna put also some basil, also some of the olive oil, some of mint as well, and also some um, onions. So I'll give you all the little measurements now once I start cutting it. We're gonna put it in a blender, and then after we put it in the blender, we're gonna put it, we're gonna put it into this little jar, and then um, I recommend to use this mix once a week so once a week i'm gonna be putting this in my hair and if you're gonna be doing the same um as we are you know that i'm doing then also do it once a week i recommend guys to just put the mix in for 15 to 20 minutes on your hair if you start having any bad sensation bad feeling burning sensation itchiness anything like that abnormal please stop take it out of your hair and you know remove it completely this might not be for you you know, everybody has a different sensitivity in their hair scalp, so please do not, do not harm yourself, do not do, put it in your hair if it's something that can harm you, that it, it will, you know, not be good for you, right? But in my case, I leave it for almost an hour, some people leave it even overnight, so it all depends on the sensitivity that you have for your hair. I don't believe that you need to leave it for overnight, I think that's too much, so just 20 minutes maximum, 30 minutes, that will be more than enough for you to have the effects of the plants in your hair. And also to have that consistency of having it once a week, okay? So once I, you have it in your hair and you wanna remove it, then you're just gonna take some, um, not push and pull back again, just have some conditioner in your hair and wash it up. The first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take the aloe vera and I'm gonna cut it. So I'm gonna take one of the leaves that are, it's the biggest one, so that'll be the oldest. And I'll just wash the outside. Many people just use the pulp inside. Look at that beauty. Oh my God. I just love it. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Oh, aloe vera is amazing. And God is amazing. And all the wonderful blessings that we're getting in here. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna just cut it in tiny pieces. And I'm gonna just put it in here so that it could blend easier. Some people like to just use the pulp itself. And I will show you more about the pulp when I start showing you about the hair, um, the skin, you know, tricks that I do for the aloe vera. But for now, I can go ahead and put the whole thing in there. So you don't have to worry that you need to remove the pulp or anything. In this particular case, we're using the whole thing. So look who joined us in. We have Hello. Justin, my other half. He is amazing. And so Thank we you, are gonna keep on going. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> With the whole mix in here. I know it's a lot. So yes. what we need is it's gonna be half of this. Can you help me with that? Sure. Put then half a cup of the olive oil in here. So okay. you can put it then all the way up to here. Yep. Half a cup. Thank you. Well, Justin is doing half a cup of olive oil. So now you know that we have our one leaf of the aloe vera that we put in here. Now I'm gonna just add a little bit of like maybe six to seven leaves of the mint. So six to seven leaves of mint, okay? So this is what I'm gonna be adding in here. So we're gonna be adding this to the mix. Precise. Then we have half a cup of our olive oil. Thank you very much. You're welcome, baby. Can you also give me then maybe like 10 to 12 of the leaves of basil? That's what sure. we need. 
10 to 12. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You can see this is teamwork in here. <laughs> teamwork. Teamwork <laughs> is the best work. Thank you, Cielo. You're welcome. So we're putting Sienia. this in here. And then after that, I'm just going to add also to this half a cup of water. Okay. So this is the measurement that I'm using for only one leaf of the aloe vera. If you are gonna be making more, then you just need to know that you duplicate it and keep on multiplying, right? So, oh, it smells so good. Getting some very beautiful so full leaves. I know, I, I think love this it. is a dozen. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna just wash it a little bit. Okay. And then after that, I need also half a cup of water. Can you fill that up with half a cup of water? Absolutely. Thank you very much. You're so we're going to then put this in here. So as we just said, 12 of the leaves of basil. So, so far, like six to seven of the leaves of mint, 12 leaves to 10 leaves of the basil. So you don't need to have an exact measurement, just a whole bunch, you know, of the leaves. And then at the same time, I'm going to put a whole onion. So I took the onion that I showed you. It was a medium-sized onion. I cut it. If you have the red onion, even better. I love the red onions. But if not, I have right now a yellow onion. And so I'm using the yellow onion today. So one whole onion. Yeah, the cup of water. Agua. Thank oh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> say agua. Can you say agua? Can you say agua? <laughs> That's like Dora the Explorer. Okay, See. so now we're going to go ahead. We put all our, in our ingredients. So, so far, ingredients are aloe vera, a complete onion. Then we got also some basil leaves, also some mint leaves, and then also our extra virgin olive oil with a little yes. bit of water. Yep. And we're good to go. So we're gonna go mm -hmm. ahead and mix it up all blended. And after it's all blended, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit in my head today, and the extra I'm gonna put it then in the fridge. It can be in the fridge for a week, two weeks, and then after that, discard whatever you have in there, right? and then mix, mix another batch and keep on going. As I said, use a little bit, right, in your hair once a week. If you wanted to leave um, to work even, you know, leave it there longer, you can actually take a batch and instead of putting it in a crystal jar so that it can last longer, you can put it in a plastic jar and then put it in the freezer. And when you're not using it, then just, you know, defrost it and then you can also use it. So it might last longer, like a month or two months. <laughs> <laughs> longer the better oh you're so cute okay let's go ahead and put this in there okay sorry in your way no you're good you're keeping me company that's right so i have it in here um let me just bring you guys over here so you can see the whole process here we go choo 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 there we go perfect pretty awesome they get to enjoy the whole process in here. Now this is amazing. This is like the thing that you would actually like buy for like a whole bunch of money right. in the store. I know, that's what I was thinking. That is like 100% organic, no pesticides, no nothing. Right. And we grew all of this at home and that's we're right. going to then use it on our hair and our hair is going to be looking amazing it looks like it cost a bunch of money it looks beautiful it, it looks, looks so good and <laughs> you can it makes eat you it think about eating or drinking it. you can eat it you can drink it because you know this is just food it's That's actually 100% right. food i'm tempted and this you can also i'm gonna give you lots of different tips for your hair for your skin as well because i like to use a lot of stuff for the skin completely natural so this is also one of the mix that you can also use for your skin so if you want to just put it with a little bit of yogurt also Mix it up with a little bit of yogurt in the front fridge and then, you know, leave it in the fridge for like a minute until it gets hard and then you can put it also like a mask. So there you go, another tip. So let me just take this and we're gonna go ahead and fill up our jar. Can I hold it for you? Sure. Thank you very much. You're you are so amazing. I need you more in my videos. <laughs> my pleasure. 
Oh, look at that. Wow. He already have it completely Ooh. measured. <laughs> that was almost too good to be true. It, it turned out perfect. You couldn't have had that more perfect thing. Wow. I have it completely measured already. Oh my gosh. Uh, I should That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> but um wow. you know i'm gonna use some of this now in my hair so let's go upstairs in the bathroom and you're gonna actually help me with that you can actually help me so i don't need to get too dirty so sounds good let's go ahead and do that so we came um back upstairs and now we are in the guest bathroom and so we're gonna be taking our beautiful mix over here and putting it in the hair just thanks i have the privilege <laughs> I'm putting this in my hair. Um, so I'm Can't gonna wait. put this now in here. So what you do, Cielo, is just take a whole scoop okay. and then put it in there in the hair. So just go for it and go wild. Okie doke. He's getting all the rings now. Let's remove my jewelry real quick. So I'm gonna just keep on getting a little bit and then just, you know, make sure that you have a good bunch inside in your scalp. This is good. I'm getting my demonstration first of what I need to do so I don't screw this up. You got it. I know you're going to do an amazing job. I hope so. This is Let like, me know when you want me yeah, to. Yeah, you can go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Let's go like a little scoop. A little scoop? Yeah. Keep on playing. Wow. <laughs> Feels. <laughs> well. It just feels like... Like you're playing food. with plants, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, put it Go in ahead. there. Yeah, put it in there, whatever you want. Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay. Anywhere. And just scrub it in? Yeah, scrub it in. Whoa. I can feel it working already <laughs> for you, babe. I, I feel like I can. It just feels so healthy. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Let me take some pleasure. and put some in the back as well. Mm. Let me put some in here in the back side. It smells amazing. Oh, that's good. I yeah. like it. Some I always love your smell and now I'm really going to love it with this in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bonus. There you go, ladies. You want to smell really good? And you're afraid that you're not gonna smell good, then don't worry, cause yeah. your your That's, other half is gonna love it. You smell delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. And my question is, yeah. and I'm not sure if any of our audience or viewers may be wondering the same thing. What? I'm I'm standing here wondering as I do this mm -hmm. how much how much of this mixture should, you put? should we be putting? Or you should... need to cover, you need to make Please? sure that you cover the whole hair. I think that's it. Well, thank you very much, Sailor Mew. Okay. My good. love. Good thing you have the, the towel. Yeah. Is it, <laughs> it's kind of spritzing everywhere on yeah. the towel. That's why I do. So the whole thing, uh, responding to your question, the whole thing is to actually yeah. cover your whole hair. Um, okay. Because I have a short hair, I started from the beginning and here in the top. But if right. you have a really long hair, then you start from the bottom okay. and you go from the bottom up. Oh. And then after that, then you can kind of start separating then your hair okay. and to make sure that you can massage it inside of the scalp. Um, gotcha. Because you're gonna be seeing that this has onion, and onion has that little like fumes that can go into your eyes and hurt your eyes. Right. So make sure that you know you have your your face cover, and that you're not putting something directly or touching with your hands the face, because then you're gonna be having your eyes hurting a lot. Okay. That's for sure. So that is the tip in there. Now you just That's take a, a plastic one. bag, or if not, a little cap, and put it in here. So have like that's a, simple. Yeah, that's simple. Wow. And that's I, impressive. <laughs> it was easy. It was easy. It really was. And I didn't, we didn't use that much. Well, no. I have short hair right now, but we didn't use that much. And I get to use this now for a long time. Yeah, that's a lot of leftover. I really love this thing. This is yeah, amazing. Me too. Okay, so now I'm going to leave it there for 30 minutes in my case. As I said, 15 to 20 minutes is more than enough. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and rinse it away with just a little bit of conditioner and then, you know, do my hair. I have one of your hairs in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> with onion.
And this is the end result. Yay! I love it. My hair is really soft, really silky. And if I didn't have this on, which I don't have nothing extra, only the mix that I show you guys of the home natural homemade remedy. And I'm gonna be showing with you sharing with you guys way more of the natural homemade remedies for your hair because I'm in this journey of letting my hair grow. You guys know that I shot my hair in January 1st and now I'm letting my hair grow naturally, really organically with all the natural products that I have learned throughout the years to use so that my hair can actually grow really long. And I expect that my hair was gonna grow all the way up to here. Anyways, my hair is really dry naturally because I suffer from hypothyroidism. So if I don't have nothing on my hair, my hair would be right now really brittle, really dry, 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 dry. So this is just with the ingredients that I showed you before. And this can last in my hair for two weeks to three weeks with nothing, literally, if I don't wash it, I can be for two or three weeks. But of course, I'm gonna wash it because I do exercise and of course you need to remove all that debris and sweat and all that stuff. But I'm not gonna be using shampoo. The key is for keeping your natural oils and your natural ingredients of your hair because the, the, the more that you actually deplete your body from your natural oils of your hair, then of course your hair is going to be falling more quickly. So my goal is for my hair to not fall and my hair to actually grow. So um, I'm going to be just not shampoo, not shampooing, using just conditioner whenever I actually need to, you know, wash it. But only a shampoo once a week by the end of the week. And then I'm gonna put back again the mask. So I'm gonna continue with this mask once a week, every Friday or Saturday. So yes, if you're gonna be enjoying my journey, then this is the journey that I'm, do I'm doing. If your hair is gonna, it's very, you know, not dry like me, but it's very greasy, and also you have yet just luscious hair that's very silky, then of course your hair, you don't need to do like I'm doing once a week of washing, and you need to actually wash it more often. Maybe once a day, maybe two, every two days, every three days. You will assess yourself, you know your, your yourself better. Again, if you actually feel any adverse reaction of like itchiness, redness, um, burning sensation, anything that could be abnormal, please stop, do not continue with the mask and just take it off from your hair immediately and then wash it away because this is, might not be, not be good for you. I always feel a little bit of itchiness in my hair, but that is it, not too much of like a crazy itchiness or burning sensation. If that's the case, please stop it. And I will share more of this natural remedy. So I'm telling you that I have extra for the hair, hair treatment for it to grow and be silky and all that stuff. And that many, many of those might work for you and this might not be the one for you, okay? So I hope that you really enjoyed this video, learn something new. If you also have some remedies that you're using, please share them in the comment section. I love learning every time something new about home remedies this is my weakness i love home remedies and learning and you know knowing the biochemical uh, biochemistry after, um, behind it and why is it actually good you can actually research all the ingredients that i had just mentioned before for growing your hair and you will be see that you will see that's proven and tested that it actually helps you for boosting your your hair growth so it is it is amazing <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll see you next um, Tuesday. It is a pleasure to be here with you guys in here. Thank you so much for watching, for the support, and for being so amazing. I love our community. So if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and like this video. Also, subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and family. I'll see you next Tuesday. Enjoy the miracles. Dios me los bendiga. Bye. Que disfruten los milagros.